Wait, 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 what is that? Hold on a sec. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Okay, so apparently Jimbo's a smoker now. Alright, cool. Uh, that's, that's the first time I'm hearing about this. Also, how is he even doing that? He doesn't have a mouth. It's just, it's just like into his face underneath the mustache. That doesn't even make any sense. He doesn't have lungs. He's a cactus. Hmm. I think Jimbo needs to be educated on the dangers of smoking, but uh, anyway. Uh, um, what? Why? Uh, wait, was it here? What? What? Where? What on earth? Wait, oh, wait, what? Has he? Okay, hold, hold up. Whoa, 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 hold up. That is not in the right spot. What? What? You know what? I think someone moved the end rod. I, I swear, someone must have moved the end rod. Because that... Put that back. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, it, it's fixed. All good. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming he just moved the end rod. Didn't muck around with the breadstone, did he? No, no, it all looks the same. Alright. Alright, well, Fred, Fred did say he done something to Jimbo. And I guess maybe he did two things. Hmm. Hey guys, well, welcome back to Take Down Chain 23 I'm Isaac, and today we're doing Me and the Boys 11. Now, that was quite the odd start, eh? I mean, he didn't tell me before that, you know, he was done something, but, um. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I did not expect the end rod thing. That totally got me. I can't believe I. It's just an automatic, just place it next to the end rod or something like that. It's just, yeah, just totally got me. Anyway, we might need to put. Fred on my hit list now. I mean, I kind of did, you know, steal his netherite hose. I mean, you know, give some hose for charity because doing doing good for the server and all that. But um, yeah, maybe I'll leave him off. But there is actually there is someone that I do need to put on my hit list now. With that, that is Alex S or C Citation X. Now, as you can see on the screen here, this is a screenshot of him having killed me. Yeah, remember that bounty that our friend put in my head. Well, guess who claimed it? Yep, it was Alex. Uh, he came out of nowhere. He came out of nowhere, and before I even realized what was happening, I was on, like, half health. And yeah, I, 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 no, I just didn't have, no, I just didn't see it coming. I had no chance, and also I didn't have a totem on either, which is stupid. So, uh, yeah, anywho, he's now also on my hit list, girl. But, um, yeah, he now got, like, ten diamonds from Fred, which, ugh, shame. And another thing, like, with the, uh, you can see I'm holding a totem now, but I, Seem to have gotten into the habit of forgetting to wear a totem because while I was in the nether working on the nether hub, I fell off it and into a lava lake. And since I wasn't wearing a totem of undying, I fell in and died and lost all my stuff except the netherite gear, which was like I was kind of like a I feel like that was like a very disappointing moment because I lost like my bow. You can see I don't have it here. And I lost a um, bunch of food and rockets, but I also didn't lose all my armor and all my tools because of the netherite. So that was actually pretty cool. But um, yeah, should probably need to get those back. But what will make it easier, particularly for my bow, will be this thing, right? You can see this here in all of its glory. It is, it's not actually complete, right? It's, it's, it's not, it's not. It's just, it's, the chest will empty. But it's almost complete, which is very good. This is Fred's new bookstore slash mansion. Kind of looks like that. But, um, yeah, this will be very good. Also, um, I taught him how to do the, um, the, the colored text and he's been doing it everywhere now, but um, yeah, it's, it's actually it's looking really cool now another thing after C Citation X's parkour course here There was one being done over here, but that's now been torn down because I think it was Alex G or um, Dr. Shu who was working on it He tore it down because he couldn't compete with that and instead decided to put his efforts towards a news agency now, I think that's actually really cool. It's the the crafty times which are uh, yeah, that that's good so, um, yeah, I think it's like one diamond for just a paper, three diamonds for like an annual subscription, and also an elytra for home delivery, which you can see I have 
put in there because you know I've got the elytra, and also I know that um Doctor Shu needs an elytra, so I thought, hey, I'll give it to him. Plus, I get the Crafty Times delivered to my house. Now that's pretty cool. But um, yeah, I've heard the good things about it, although I haven't read it myself yet because it hasn't been delivered yet. But um, yeah, when I read it, I'll um, yes, I've 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 heard it's good. Now also now that C Citation X is Park or course, gosh, C Citation X, that's, that's an annoying word to like say fast. Anyway, it's done the Park or course, so I am going to be trying to uh, or attempting to complete it. Right, I need I need to complete it. I need to assert my dominance over the realm. But, um, yeah, before that, I need to do something else, which is moving the whole parkour course up a few blocks. Because, while I think it looks kind of cool having, like, it kind of weave through the shopping district, um, it is kind of in the way a bit. Like, there's some blocks here at, like, head height, and just, like, slime block middle of the path. And particularly, these soul sand blocks don't really look nice. They're very brown and dirty. Um, so I offered to just move it all up a bit, and he agreed because... You know, that'll just make it a bit more out of the way and up in the sky. So before attempting this, we'd, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to move them all up like 5 or 10 blocks. Alright, well now that I've done that, uh, I will be doing that in a little bit. However, um, Citation wanted to make a few extra little changes. So for now, I'm going to be working on that dreaded iron farm from a couple episodes ago. Oh, so annoying. Now, I said I'd probably be doing some base things last episode, but, um, uh, nah. <laughs> I really want this iron farm, man. I need, I need that iron. I have a grand total of about maybe 20, 30 iron at home. I need more iron. Um, yeah, so I've, I've taken all the villagers out of their cages. I also tried a few other things, but nothing worked. So I've got in, these guys in here breeding up some more villagers. I'll have to kill these guys actually because turns out you can't have it traded with them. You can't have traded with them. They also would be bad if they were farmers because they'd be raining. There, there are a lot of flaws with the old design. Um, but I've, I've got a new design that I found uh, just on YouTube by an um, old guy. Seems like he knows what he's talking about. So I'm going to be trying that one. So I guess while we're waiting for these guys to, um, or well, guess guy and a girl genderless beings. I don't know. <laughs> While they're doing waiting for that, uh, we are going to... I'm just going to tear down what I've got here. <laughs> Start almost from scratch. Maybe not quite from scratch, but I don't know, close to it. Good thing I have my trusty netherite hoe here. Alright, well I've basically torn out the whole thing except for this one platform here, or just like the base of it, because I mean that's where this one starts in a way, so you know, may as well just keep this. Also, real quick, this is gonna be hideous. This is not gonna look good, right? Like, the only block that I had a lot of for some reason was sandstone, I think it's because I was making that out of my, my base's interior out of that, and I've got, because this stone, and then if I run out of that, I'll start using maybe some wood or, I don't know, netherrack, I bought some of that just for scaffolding and temporary blocks, but I don't know if I run out of blocks. Th this thing could look hideous, but, um, oh well, it'll be functional, and that's what we want. Alright, well, I don't know if you can see that, but I've got the, the, the chest under there, and that's, of course, got a minecart, and then a hopper minecart underneath these magma blocks, and these are where all the main iron golems, and unfortunately cats, but, um, hey, what can I do? I mean, I can do it, but I'll just take slightly more effort, which I'm not doing. I've put way too much into these iron farms already, but, um, yeah. Now we're just gonna get all the rest of the components in. That's the, the platforms, and all the water streams, lava, and also the worst part of it all. The villagers. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually mind the sandstone texture all that much. I mean, it's, it's a bit weird, but oh, doesn't doesn't look all that bad. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Keep up the good work. That's it. Good job, guys. Doing well. All right. Well, I've now got both of the platforms in. Right, you can see underneath here, one here and one here. What I'm currently doing is creating a pathway for the villagers to go into their cells because. I've also built these, right? These are these little cells. So I'm gonna make like a kind of corridor. And yeah, once I get through the corridor, they're gonna like just. I'm just gonna try and nudge them. One will fall down here. And then I'll like block this one off so they can get to this one. Then when one falls down there, I'll block that one off. And hopefully it'll work exactly like that and work smoothly with no bumps whatsoever. I highly doubt that though. Also, I've had to kill a few nitwits. And also, I had a mishap with a creeper like exploding right next to the thing, which. 
could have been catastrophic, but luckily I actually didn't lose any villagers, which was an absolute miracle. I don't know how that happened, but managed to close it off in time. Ah, oh, these new spawning mechanics. They're, they're the worst. I mean, they're good. I Don't get me wrong. They're good, and it's how the game is supposed to work. But there are now so many mobs everywhere. It, it got blown up by a creeper again, and we lost some villagers this time. Oh, this is so annoying. I was so close to having, like, every villager I needed all grown up, and oh, now I've lost, like, five of them or something. Oh, it's so annoying. Ugh, I guess I'll see you when all the villagers are ready. And don't you dare, buddy. No. <laughs> that looks better. A nice, impenetrable, ominous wall to keep all the creepers out. Alright, that should do it, so... I think all the villagers that died have been replaced. Uh, yeah, they're villagers. They're, they're replaceable. For whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, I never got to wait for the children to grow up. Like kids, they just they take forever to grow up. It's like they grow up so fast, but but they don't. They really don't grow up so fast. They they grow up so slow. <laughs> all right. Well, as you can see, all of the villagers are now fully grown up. They're all along their bed except for this guy, I don't know, I guess he's just not tired, but uh, yeah, they're all here, and none of them are nitwits, which is good, because if they're green, they won't work, and the farm won't work, blah blah. Anyway, now, I reckon the next step is to all, I mean, obviously get them into their cages, but, they've got a path, so I'll probably open the path up here, and I might get rid of the beds as well, because if they're pathfinding to the beds, like, I'm not 100% sure if I can remove the beds later, but I'm not taking any chances with this, so. I'm going to move the beds and then move them into their cages. And I can't lose a single villager either, which is kind of daunting. Whew, right, well, let's just go for it, eh? Whoop, right, and move over here. And now we wait for a villager to come over here and fall in, I guess. Yeah, this could actually take a bit of a while. Right this way, sir. Alright, first villager in. Alright, come on, little fella. Come on, this way. Right this way. Come on. Alright, well, this is actually going smoother than I thought, right? Like two down and no no mishaps. I mean of course two is not a large fraction of twenty, but still look, like this is actually working really well. Just plunk them in and place the block. Working smoothly, which is good. Alright, next one up. Yes, I'll see you when they're all in, or something catastrophic happened that I need to report. Man, this is working way smoother than I thought it would. Like, look at this, you just, they, they basically walk up the tunnel, right? They, they slowly walk up the tunnel, you just grab the next one, and then push them into the next hole, they fall in, and then it takes a bit of good timing. We just gotta, there we go, place the block above the head, and you're good. Like, I've only got three to go, and there's been zero mishaps. This is working so smoothly, it's so good. I guess it's probably, like, the best villager experience I've ever had, minus, of course, the... Um, creeper explosions, but I mean still it's still been just so good like even with the creeper explosions I only lost like a couple villagers max one of them. I didn't even lose any I'm pleasantly surprised of course now is the point where the iron farm doesn't ever end up working anyway And then my whole time's wasted, but I mean <laughs> so far. It's been great And three two one last villager is locked and loaded in a bit. Hold on, come on, wait, come on. There we are. Oh, they're all in. I I can't believe that went so smoothly. Like seriously, villagers are just so annoying. This like I feel like this is like unheard of. But oh, look at that. Each cell has this villager in place. Oh, I thought that was gonna be way more painful. Man, it still took a while. Like I had to build up this whole whole setup here and all of that which I'll have to take down in some some time but all the villagers are in oh what a relief alright well actually I think I'm just gonna take this down now I think I can do it at the end but hey guys <laughs> hello that's it you can do a bit of bobbing up and down now if you like oh looks a lot cleaner now except of course for the bits of nether racket like Everywhere. <laughs> anyway, so now we got to give them their workstations. Right? Uh, I'm gonna make them Fletchers because they can't be farmers, librarians, or fishermen. I'm uh, probably gonna. Originally, I'm gonna make them farmers because uh, compost is pretty cheap. Then I'm gonna make them fishermen because barrels are pretty cheap. But no, they just don't work in the rain. 
So, um, uh, Fletch as it is. Now, I believe there is a special way you gotta do this. You gotta place this down and then see who connects with it. Really? Really? No, no one wants the fletching table? Uh, I think I know why. In the tutorial, I meant to place the beds first, so I'll do that first. Uh, they might not actually affect it, I've done something else wrong, but... Eh, whatever. We'll place the beds. Uh, well, we've now got a bunch of beds in place, right? So we've just got a platform of, like, 20 beds. You know, 20 beds for 20 villages. Uh, I wonder if my golems can now start spawning. I'm not sure, but, um... Possibly. Alright, so just a few more things to go, right? We've got water streams and we got lava, pretty much. And then it'll be pretty much done, I think. Oh, and of course, putting in the workstation. If I place this one here, then... Oh, it worked. Alrighty. Cool. So it was this guy over here. So then what I'm gonna do is... Uh, pick this back up and place it over here at this guy. Oh, wait, which one was it? Alright, alright, this guy. So, there we are. Cool. I'm just going to repeat that another 20 times, but you don't want to see that. Oh, Alright, and with that, that is the last Fletcher to be Fletched. That's a word, right? Fletched. Having been turned into a Fletcher. Yeah, that makes sense. <gasps> oh, oh, look at this! An iron golem has spawned. Oh... Yes! Oh, you do not know how happy that just made me. Oh. Do you know how how much I've wanted to see you, buddy? Oh. Buddy, buddy, you have made my day. I might even let you live. Mm, no, that'll destroy the rates. You're gonna die. But, thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> I was literally, the next step was to put a roof on these things. Oh. I don't know how to get out. <laughs> so, uh, hey buddy, I guess I guess we're gonna be in here for a while. And I'm just gonna <laughs> send a help message on Discord and hope someone comes to help me. Oh, hello! <laughs> hello! <Over there. laughs> hello, um... Oh, hello, bringer of ender... Don't fall in here. <laughs> Actually, you do have the ender pearls, at least. Alright, yes. Hmm. Well. Let me think. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Hang on. <laughs> what? what are the pros and cons for giving you the ender pearls? <laughs> cons for giving you the ender pearls? Hmm, you probably won't thank me. Pros for giving you the ender pearls? I won't be banned. <laughs> They're your ender pearls, oh, anyway. Yes. So. Oh, thank you, good sir. Alright. <laughs> Oops, dang. <laughs> <laughs> One down. Oh no, I'm trading with the villager. Go away. Alright, hold on, I gotta get lined up away from him and then. Huh? Hold on, wait, maybe if I do this. Oh, yes, I'm out! Woohoo! Yeah, but so's the villager. How did that happen? You pushed him out. How? Oh. Alright, I'll have to get him back in then. Oh, if the. Right, yeah, well, I've got at least stuff. I'm out. <laughs> right, I'm gonna head off now. Oh, yes, he's back in. Alright, thank you for your service. Hold on, here you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you go, before you go. A token of my gratitude. There you oh, are, Oh, thank you. I'd much rather an ender chest, but still, thank you. <laughs> no, you cannot have that. <laughs> no. I am oh. half a heart. <laughs> I am oh, half I, a heart. I was literally about to punch you off. <laughs> If you had, that would have been amazing. I <laughs> land next to you, you punch me, and I just explode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. That would have been amazing. <laughs> um, are you, you gonna, you're gonna go now? No, you are. What? No! <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Alright, well, very big thanks to Ology there for um, getting me out of that sticky situation. Now, before I do anything, I am just going to cover up all of these villager cages. <laughs> Before I fall in there again. Alright, so I've quickly put a roof on, but uh, now all we have to do is get the water and the lava in, and then we'll have a fully functioning iron farm, which will be fantastic. Uh, is that meant to set fire to the ground? Actually, there'll be water here, like, so it won't be able to let fire. Alright, cool, we got the next lava blade in. This one's actually kind of funky, it's got like a, a hole down the middle so the items from the top one can come through, so. 
It's a bit bigger as well, but um, yep. Now nah, looks good. Uh, and just like that, the iron farm is actually complete. It is producing iron golems. Like, I mean, that's, that's, oh, it's, it's so good. I mean, I know I shouldn't be surprised. Like, I mean, it worked in the video, it worked in real life, and it does, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm incredibly pleased. I can highly recommend, I will leave this, I will leave a link to the tutorial in the description if you want to use this farm for yourself. I can highly recommend. Very efficient, too. I've seen a lot of golems spawning. I mean, look at this. It's already produced almost two stacks of iron. That's like, that's what, like six times the amount of iron I have currently. Like, and I, I've only literally just finished it, like right there. Like, that's crazy. Plus a bunch of other random stuff, but um, yeah, I'll clean it out in a bit. Uh, make a few minor adjustments, and then it'll be completely done. But as of now, it is producing iron, which is amazing. Alright, well I have mob proofed the whole thing, hopefully. I, I think it's mob proof. I don't know, some might spawn, but I'm pretty sure it's all lit up and also got the section under here with all the chests and yep, funneling into here. Uh one day I might actually give it a um like a what you may call it, sorting system. So that it'll like sort out the iron, so there's one particular chest for the iron and another chest for all the random poppies and string for the cats and probably fish. Considering that I'm above the ocean, if it's anything like the creeper farm, the water platforms are going to be spawning a bunch of fish. So yeah, oh, it's so satisfying having a project like an iron farm work after, you've, particularly after you spent ages on it and you know gone through a couple designs. Um, oh, it's really good to see this thing working, man. So yeah, if you're looking for an iron farm to build, check out the link in the description. This is a very good design. While we were off at the iron farm, we actually had a visitor from the postman. That's right, we got our, a copy of The Crafty Times. I mean, the postman then also proceeded to totally screw up in another portal, but whatever. We have the issue two out. I also got the issue one, and I've already read that, but this week was the week of The Crafty Times 2, so I'm going to be reading this one out now. Crafty Times 2, Parkour Problems. The parkour course built by C-Citation X, aka Sweaters, that's his nickname, that has plagued the realm for some time now has officially been moved. The course has been moved up higher, so now all can enjoy it without it being in the middle of the shopping district. Feathers Wanted. Dr. Shu 5450 aka Alex, is requesting any feathers that people will be willing to part with. He is fine with most prices, he just really needs some feathers. Presidential campaign? While at this point in time it is yet to be confirmed, the rumours of a possible president of the realm are increasingly likely. Takedown Chain 23, aka Isaac, has expressed interest at building a town hall of some description. He also said he wanted to be Isaac for president. Do you want a good, strong leader? Then Isaac is the guy for you. He is almost always on the realm and is making new stuff. So when the voting booths Maybe come into existence, but existence, remember, vote Isaac. Now, uh, hold on a minute, I don't remember making this. I did, I did not make that. Who, did someone, did someone sign me up for president? Did someone pull a green or something? I'm confused. What? <laughs> Missing Josh update. Rome, Rome resident Josh, oh, by the way, Josh was, um, coin buckle from, like, ages ago, is still missing. The player simply vanished nearing a few weeks ago, just days after he first showed up. While we do not actually have a police department, if you know anything, go to the non-existent police. Oh, and here we have a word puzzle. Oh, no, that's, that's cool, that's cool. Trapped. Isaac, he stole my name wrong. Recently got trapped in a cage with a villager. While he did fortunately get out, he has not yet revealed how it happened. The villager he was trapped with said... Hmm. Which means, I was traumatized. However, the non-existent police say that the villager is a suspect in the trapping. Next issue coming 16th August 2020. See, this this is really good. I, I like this. This was totally worth three diamonds and an elytra. Well, I reckon that just about does it for today's episode. Slightly longer than usual, but that is fine. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later. Bye!